In this Blender tutorial, I will show you how I modeled and animated a stylized refrigerator. I will start by making the basic shape of the fridge and the two doors. I select the cube and move it up onto the ground. And in edit mode, I scale the cube to the size of a fridge. In object mode, I apply all the transforms with control A. Back in edit mode, I add a horizontal loop and a vertical loop to delineate where the doors will be. I select the faces that will be the fridge door and separate them using the P key. Then I repeat this process for the freezer door. In object mode, I select the freezer door. In edit mode, I select the bottom loop and add a face using F. I then select the two edges along the back and using right click, I bridge the edge loops. And I repeat this process with the fridge door. Back in object mode, select both doors. In edit mode, I select the back faces and using the I key, I inset the faces. I then extrude the faces back along the Y axis. Back in object mode, I select all three parts of the fridge. In edit mode, I select the edges of the fridge base. And I add a bevel. And I repeat this process for each door. In object mode, I right click and choose Shade Smooth. And under the Object Data Properties tab, under the Normal section, I activate Auto Smooth. I repeat this process for both of the doors. Now I'll work on the back of the fridge where the coolant is located. I'll add a bezier curve. And I'll also add a bezier circle. I scale down the circle so I can use it as a bevel object for the curve. And I rotate the curve around the x-axis 90 degrees. I select both the curve and the circle and tab into edit mode. I select the curve and using the V key, change the handle to vector. I then align the curve with the back of the fridge 
and extrude the control point along the z-axis and the x-axis until I have what looks like a coil. Now I box select the curve and open up the Object Data Properties tab under the Geometry section. I select the Object button from the Bevel section. I activate the Fill Caps and select the circle as the object. In Object Mode, I right click on the coils and choose Convert to Mesh. I then add a Bevel modifier. Then after applying the modifier, I right click on the coils and choose Shade Smooth. And I delete the circle since it won't be needed any longer. Then open the Data Object Properties tab, and under the Normal section, I turn on Auto Smooth. I then align the coils to the back of the fridge. I'll now work on the freezer door seal. In Object Mode, I add a Bezier curve. Rotate it around the x-axis 90 degrees. And this is going to act as the seal between the door and the fridge. In edit mode, I use the V key to change the Bezier curve to a vector handle type. I then align the curve to the top back of the freezer door. and extrude each of the control points to fit the door width. And then extrude each side down along the z-axis. And then I extrude each side along the bottom. I select the two ends of the extrusion, and using the F key, I fill in the gap. In object mode, I right click on the curve and convert it to a mesh. In edit mode, I extrude the seal along the y-axis. And align it to the freezer door. In object mode, I apply the transforms, and I add a solidify modifier. I apply the modifier, and in edit mode, I add a bevel to the edges. Then I repeat this process for the fridge door. I 
I then move the doors so they're aligned correctly with the fridge. And I'll just add some simple things to the exterior of the fridge. I add a cube for the handle. And scale it down to the proper size. In edit mode, I use the knife tool. You can access it with the letter K and add a horizontal loop cut to the bottom to act as the pull section for the handle. I then insert the front half of the bottom face. And I scale it along the x-axis. I then extrude it up along the z-axis. I then add a bevel to the handle. Then right click shade smooth and on the object data properties I turn on auto smooth and then align the handle to the door duplicate the handle and put it on the freezer door I add another cube And I scale it to the size of a plate for the front of the door. And I align it to the top portion of the fridge door. And apply the transforms. In edit mode, I inset the front face and extrude it back along the Y axis. I'll add some simple symbols using cubes. I apply the transforms, then add an array modifier. Make any necessary adjustments. And then I apply the modifier. Now I add a plane for the background and scale it up along the X and Y axes. In edit mode, extrude the back and the side edges along the Z axis. And I add a bevel to the two bottom edges and the edge that connects the two faces. In object mode, I right click Shade Smooth. Under the Object Data Properties tab, I activate Auto Smooth. Now it's time for materials. I select the background. Under the Shading Workspace, I add a material. I change the base color to a pale pink. I'm using the hex code E7AA9D. 
and select the fridge. And I changed the base color to a light blue using the hex code 92DAE8. Use a roughness of 1. I select the freezer door seal, add a new material, give it a cream color using the hex code DA, 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 and a roughness of 1. Then I select the fridge door seal, and using the drop down menu, I assign the same color. I select the fridge door handle, add a new material, and I give it a mid gray color for the base color. Use the hex code A1A1A1, and I change the metallic to 0.5. And I select the freezer handle, and using the drop down menu, I assign the same material. I assign this same material to the plate. For the symbols, I add a new material. I'm going to use the base color of C4, C4, C4 with 0.5 for the metallic. I did just realize that I never made an interior for the fridge. So I'm going to hide the freezer and the fridge door along with their seals. In edit mode, I select the edge loop on the front of the fridge and add a face using the F key. Now on to the animation. I select the fridge and using the try lighting add-on, I set up my lights. And I join together all of the parts of the fridge using Control J. I make sure that the 3D cursor is at the bottom center of the fridge using right click. I set the origin to the 3D cursor. Open up the properties panel and under the view tab. I lock camera to view. This animation is only going to be 3 seconds long at 30 frames per second. So I change the end frame to 90. I then set up my camera view. On frame 40. I select the fridge and add a keyframe for scale. On frame 1, I scale the fridge to 0 and add a keyframe for scale. On frame 38, I scale the fridge to 1.2 and add a keyframe for scale. This will give me an overshoot for the scale. On frame 1, I add a keyframe for rotation. On frame 40, I rotate the fridge around the Z axis 360 degrees and add a keyframe for rotation. Now I want the fridge to scale and rotate back off screen. I copy the keyframes from 40 and paste them on frame 50. This will give me a 10 frame hold. On frame 52, paste the copied frames from frame 38. And on frame 90, paste the copied frames from frame 1. On 
Under the Render Properties tab, I change the render samples to 100 and turn on Bloom and Motion Blur. Under the Output Properties tab, I choose where I want to save my animation. For the file format, I'll use FFmpeg and MP4 for the encoder. I save my blend file and render the animation from the render drop down menu. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and turn on the notifications. Have a good day.